Nice of you to join us. I don't understand. What am I supposed to do with these flasks? If we run into trouble, throw one of them at the source. Then get out of the way. Split up and find the ritual site. We need to disrupt it. Split up? I suppose that makes sense. I'll go with our friend here. I recognize the handwriting. It's Singalis's. Hmm. This might be something. I just need to skim through these assumptions and incantations. What's this? Instructions on the placement of runes throughout Greymoor. All the way to... My gods! This entire tower! It's a witch pike! The magic I sensed earlier. It was familiar because it's the same magic used in the Harrowstorm rituals. I... I'm not sure we can destroy this tower. The Harrowstorms steal life energy and use it to pull the souls of the Grey Host out of Cold Harbor and into the Grey Reliquaries. Oh, most certainly. Perhaps even a way to reverse the effects of the Harrowstorms and restore the Harrowed. I think this entire tower functions as a witch pike. What? Fen, how is that even possible? Ah! The 
energy. It burns. That's my father. This way. Pain is part of the process, Vargrim. It's exquisite. My master. Once you are attuned to Greymoor, the storm will be yours to command. Rise, Sargri, and unleash my storm upon solitude. Then the last of the Grey Host shall be reborn. The Ashen Lord. He turns Fargrim into the heart of his hero storm. They're moving higher up the tower. We need to follow them. I will go this way. And so the thorns arrive once more to prick my thumbs. A barrier. And Radha al Saran? Your persistence begins to annoy me, mortal. You killed my beloved brother and sister, Singalis and Ulfra. I... As much as it would please me to flay the flesh from your bones. I have more pressing matters to attend to. Bold words, but futile. Svargrim rises and the Harrow Storm with him. Once the attunement is finished, they will be unstoppable. What happened to him? What did that damn vampire do? He's merging the power flowing through the keep with Svargrim, giving him control of the Harrow Storm. Then you must undo it. I'll stay and help. Leaders? You and our friend keep going up and find my father. Get ready to fight. We weren't able to stop the attunement spell. It's just getting stronger. A tower. It must lead to the upper levels. I need time to get that door open. Everyone, protect Ben!
just... Uh. Oh, keep... The shaking is getting worse. Damn magic! Give me something to hit! The magic! It's al -Saron. The attunement is almost complete. We need to hurry. So high up, but still far beneath the ground. What is it now, Fen? Oh, nothing. Just don't look down. Tunnels look freshly dark. The Grey Host has certainly been. Harrow fiends! Is that what became of the Harrow Svagrin brought to Castle Down? Tower of the Wolf. Storms only partially formed. My father's up there. Open the gates and let's go. The Harrow Fiends below the temple. They escape into the streets. Behind I'm with you, my friend. The Harrow Up the stairs. They've broken loose. Get to the tower. We need to get up spotting. the ramp and onto the walls. The That's our way to the Tower of the Wolf. To bear witness to my ascension, Bada Al Saran has given me power beyond anything you can imagine. Behold!
My father betrayed everything to aid the Grey Host. With his death, solitude is saved. It's done. We killed my father and ended the Herostorm. The city still stands. No, of course not. My father was the High King of Western Skyrim. I always thought he had the best interests of our holds and our people in his heart. For Svargrim, yes, I think it was. As for Radha al Saran and the Grey Host, I am not entirely sure what they're after. First, on behalf of Western Skyrim, take this with my thanks. We would have been lost without you. Then, rest. Check on our friends. Injuries must be tended to, buildings repaired. Whatever Radha al Saran and the Grey Host were planning, I think the worst is behind us as far as Western Skyrim is concerned. With my fa- With Svargrim dead, their grip on the holds comes to an end. Not officially. At least, I don't think so. I feel like the whole world's crumbling around me. But the city's still standing, so that's something. Hopefully they were able to hold the courtyard and keep those monsters out of the city. Thank you. Help them and anyone else as best you can. Oh God, I hope so. Tell me truthfully, Lyris. How much of this blood is mine? Not enough to be worried about. You did it. I shouldn't be surprised. But things were looking rather bleak before the clouds parted. We held the gate as long as we could. The Harrow Fiends were a flood of claws and teeth. I... I'm not really sure. I kind of went wild. Let out my inner beast, as it were. The Elixir is my next priority, of course. As long as the Harrow Storms are still a threat, we need a defense against them. Sadly, I don't think there's any hope for them. Their life energy was sucked dry, turning them into feral beasts. As soon as we produce enough of it, yes. So, is it over? What happened to Svargrim, and where's Svana? A parent's betrayal cuts deeper than a sword, but Svana's strong. Stronger than she's been given credit for. If you told me the tavern rat we met at the Lonely Troll would become my choice to lead this land, I'd have called you mad. Then again, my king's a scald, so what do I know? Come on, there's probably something productive we should be doing. Find out if everyone in the Hall of the Dead is alright. We did our best to hold the Harrow Fiends inside Castle Dower, but not almost didn't. We were nearly overrun before Fen went wild. I've never seen him like that. Snarling and showing what a true vampire can do.
the CU aren't raising bugs with Ismir just yet. We saw the storm break, but we heard nothing. I regret nothing we didn't throw a parade to welcome you back, but I'll cheer enough for a hundred souls if you tell me you put that backbiter of a High King to the sword. That's good, but a daughter shouldn't have to kill her own father. It's not until we hold a mood to support her claim, and we need more than a single Jarl for that to occur. If Svana proves herself as the acting Jarl, they might look past her father's failings and make her the queen, eventually. We can settle the matter of the crown when there's kingdom enough to rule. What remains of the holds are still ravaged by the harrow storms, and I doubt we've seen the last of the Grey Host, for that matter. None good, but none bad either. My wife knows better than anyone how to care for our people. I trust. We seem to have survived, thank the gods. I thought first. No thanks to Svargrim, damn his eyes. After you and the princess went off to Blackreach, I gathered whoever we could and made our stand here in the Hall of the Dead. Far fewer than I feared when the storm began. Thanks to you and the princess. They're here! They're at the gates! The Grey Host? I thought we were done with them for now. Not the Grey Host! The Scold King with an army from the east! What treachery is this? To the gates! We'll give the Skull King a proper welcome, one way or another. There are the Nords who have no fears of victory. Yeah. Yeah. Stand down, you idiots! We come in peace! Partner! Could really use your knack for diplomacy right now. Speak to the Skald King before we start a war. Sure, shame. So me. this is the Skald King? <laughs> Will no one prop? Oh, a familiar face. Maybe you can talk some sense into these Western milk drinkers. We're not a damn invasion. We're here to help. So the rumors are true. Svargrim joined the Grey Host. I knew he had ambitions. But to throw away his humanity like that, it's inconceivable. That's why I sent Lyris here in the first place. I'm not the king of these holds, though. I can't do anything if they refuse my help. We have no need of help that involves welcoming your soldiers within our walls. My walls, Yarrow. My father may have been willing to slap aside the helping hand, but I'm not. Permit me a word with your envoy, Scald King. Thank you. For holding the line, I mean. I am ready to do what I should have done a long time ago. To do what my father never could. I'll speak with the Skald King. We saved Solitude, but our war with the Grey Host is far from over. That depends on Fen. If there's anything standing in his way, let me know. And I'll do everything in my power to get him what he needs. Fen is with old Mjolin at the Mage's Guild. When you're finished with him, Join me in the courtyard of the Blue Palace. I'm going to invite the Scald King to join us. Genius. A rare thing to find an elf with the makings of a clever woman. Despite what my kin might proclaim, it's not all in the blood. Ah, good, you're here. I was just discussing a theory with Mjolin, and it... A cure. Singolus's research on the nether root showed me just how it weakens the connection between a body and its soul. Well, it is just a theory at this point. I know, I know. We can't simply put things on hold. Mjoland and I have a batch brewing right now, 
and material. We know enough about Singolus' refinement processes to replicate his methods, but we still need a source of netherroot to do so. We can ransack Greyhost stockpiles, or mount an expedition into Blackreach. Otherwise... Indeed. As I surmised, the Grey Reliquaries contained the remains of ancient Greyhost warriors. They served as a connection to the souls trapped in Cold Harbor. I believe the stone husks are incubators of a sort. The physical forms of the... What do you want? I was hoping you'd return before we began. Tell me you've got good news. I'll feel a lot better delivering a speech about healing and hope, knowing that we're on the road to recovery. Not the best news, but I'll take it. Now that would be cause for celebration. If he can really bring back even a fraction of those we lost to the Harrowstorms, I'm willing to try. Nothing fancy, just a traditional Nordwake. None of us would be here to sing dirges for the dead or celebrate the living if not for you. I certainly wouldn't be here, ready to leave my hold. Sons and daughters of Skyrim, we have the honor today of remembering the dead. Honor to the fallen! Sons and daughters of Skyrim, our trials were fierce, but we are still here. We stand and we remain. Now, we raise our voices to tell Sovngarde of the coming of the worthy dead, and to tell the world that the Nords are still here! We are still standing! The Fallen now march home to hallowed halls, to join our ancestors in boundless drink and song and brawls. Let sound the horns, let peal the bells, let loose the ancient hymn. We will remain until time ends, we children of Skyrim. In their own way, the people of Western Skyrim are as strong as the Nords of the East. Today, no, now the time isn't right. As for the future, who can say? Blood alone does not make one worthy to rule a whole, let alone an entire kingdom. If Princess Svana agrees, I want to bring more of my people from East March to help restore solitude and the Western Holds. All I can do is to offer my aid in good faith. Whether they... I'm glad to be done with this. Diplomacy and investigation aren't my favorite pastimes. I'll be staying so long as Joran's here, or until I can persuade him to send me after Rada al Saran. That leech owes a lot of blood to us, and I intend to squeeze it out of him. Whatever his plans were after sacking Solitude, we haven't uncovered them. Count on it. I can't think of a more fitting send-off for my father than Nords of both kingdoms mourning side by side. I... I don't know. Sovngarde is a place for the honored dead. Svargrim gave up his seat in the Hall of Valor when he made his pact with the Ashen Lord. Joran, Redharn, and I need to form a plan to distribute Fen's elixir and push back. I can't leave everything to you, you know. Well, I probably could. But even Isgrimor took a rest now and again.